Strength in Numbers. Nurses and UAW workers will join Amazon employees here tonight to complain about their work conditions. And I'm just ready to come home. Yep, well we're trying everything we can. Trapped in Israel, how families on both sides of the river are trying to get loved ones home as war rages on in the Middle East. A St. Louis Public School Board meeting turns into chaos. Why parents and community members are upset with board members. And we have rain moving through as we speak. We'll talk about when this rain wraps up and another round to come as we kick off the weekend. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. Good morning, St. Louis, and say hello to Vianney High School out there in Kirkwood. Uh, just, uh, what, a little bit north of Interstate 44. Mm -hmm. Some famous people have played ball there, including, including former NFL quarterback Trent Green, mm -hmm. who played not just for the Rams, he also played for the Kansas City Chiefs, mm -hmm. and now he's in the broadcast booth. Mm -hmm. Very, very successful young man. I know him from back in his days in Washington, D.C., no. Going way back. Yeah, he oh. used to play for the team out there as well. Wow. Oh, yeah. He's a good dude. You're so good cool. Dude. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining us for Today in St. Louis. I'm Renee Dunn. And I'm Michelle Lee. We just want to say thanks for joining us, including those of you who might be catching us on 5 Plus. We always like saying that. Um, it's been so fun to feature, you know, just local the different schools. different schools, yeah. 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 And then, well, it's you know, funny how Renee knows all the Rennie sports at every everybody. school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. I don't really know what's after that, though. Now, Paul, did you uh, grow up in St. Louis? I did. Uh, what high school did you Lindbergh go to? Lindbergh High School. Don't okay. Kind of near beyond. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We flew over that school already. Yes. And, and you're Hazelwood. East. East. We haven't flown over Spartans, there yet. Spartans, yes. Yeah. A little farther Stay north. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. yeah. 367 and 270. Uh, shout out to you <laughs> this morning. Uh, this morning, in fact, our 20th year anniversary. Oh, oh are you going to go? Graduation things. Oh, wow. I think it's I missed it, actually. I, th I thought oh. it was like in October. It was like back in like June or July. Oh, so you already missed it? Yeah, maybe I'll wait for the 25. Oh, good, know, good story. Anniversary. <laughs> uh, great story, right? Yay. Uh, I missed it. No, horn front moving through this morning. I'll tell you, as a parent, Michelle, you know, you can't do everything. You try to do everything and then you burn yourself out. Showers, want you to know about this before you head out the door. O'Fallon, Missouri, Innsbruck, St. Clair, Gerald, you've got rain moving in. Even in St. Louis now, we have showers that are moving through. Uh, this one right over 6440 at Tower Grove and also down near 44 in Webster Grove. So we're starting to see rain fill in this morning. Between now and 8 o'clock, we'll have rain around. And then after that, the rest of the day is dry. We're up to 80 this afternoon in St. Louis. All right, let's head over to Paul and get an update on these roads. Hopefully this rain isn't causing any issues, Paul. Not yet. It doesn't appear that those are where our delays are, where the rain is. It's more about construction. Construction can cause big delays in the morning and 6440. We're looking right now at one of our cameras and you could tell, well, it looks like some blinking lights there, huh? No, yeah, a little something, something there. So uh, an area Anthony mentioned just a few minutes ago, 270 at 6440 construction, a little bit wet as well. And you can see it right up here. We want to make sure that's by the way, downtown bridges, but over here, ball all went at 6440 and at ballast. Just be careful. We'll take a closer eye at the traffic and keep uh, keep you in the know on anything popping up coming up. All right, we do want to get to some breaking news this morning. We know that one person has been killed in a deadly crash in downtown St. Louis. Wow, take a look there. It happened just after 3.30 this morning at 14th and Clark near the Enterprise Center. Police say two vehicles crashed and the person who died died at the scene. Right now, no word on any other injuries. Amazon employees are being joined by St. Louis University Hospital nurses and striking UAW workers as they all call for changes on the job. In fact, the Amazon workers believe today is a prime day to take some action. Alex Fees is live for us outside the Amazon facilities in St. Peter's to explain why. Alex? Rennie Michelle, it is no accident that Amazon employees have chosen the two day Amazon Prime period for these workplace demonstrations. They say it is during Amazon Prime that they are pushed to the brink and sustain injuries at work as a result. So tonight, Amazon employees are joined by striking UAW workers and formerly striking nurses, demanding safer workspaces in response to what they call an injury crisis across all three industries. St. Louis University nurses will staff a portable clinic for Am Amazon warehouse and employees seeking free advice regarding what they say are work-related injuries. 
happening due to, quote, corporate greed. In July, Amazon workers here filed an OSHA complaint saying Amazon's injury rate is twice as high as the rest of the warehouse industry. St. Louis University hospital nurses who recently went on strike for a new contract say they experienced chronic pain and injuries as a result of short staffing. Now, in July, an Amazon spokesperson said, the safety and health of our employees is and always will be our top priority, and any claim otherwise is inaccurate. During the nurses' 24-hour strike last month, SSM St. Louis University Hospital nurses said the NNOC has declined to respond or counter our proposals on key wage issues. Negotiations can only make progress when both sides are motivated and engaged. UAW members went on strike back on September 15th against Ford, GM, and Jeep maker Stellantis, demanding wage increases and an end to the tiered wage system. Now, in those negotiations, the automakers have said they, quote, made reasonable counteroffers. That demonstration here tonight happens at 6 o'clock. Live this morning in St. Peter's, Alex Fees, 5 on your side. Thanks so much, Alex. We are going to take a live look now at the Gaza Strip, where overnight, a thick haze of smoke could be seen hanging over the city. Today, we know that the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, will head to Israel as House Republicans are expected to vote on a new speaker clearing the way to approve more money to send to Israel. NBC's Alice Barr has more. Another day of horror in the Middle East as Hamas militants keep firing rockets into Israel and the Israeli military steps up its retaliatory strikes into the Gaza Strip. The first shipment of U.S. arms has arrived in Israel as President Biden makes clear where America stands. Let there be no doubt the United States has Israel's back. At least 14 Americans are among the unimaginable death toll of both Israeli and Palestinian civilians after a massive and brutal terror attack unleashed by the Palestinian militant group Hamas. This was an act of sheer evil. American Galia Mizrahi is among the devastated families waiting for word on their loved ones. At least two of her family members were killed, four are missing. And then the last message we got from them was, we don't want to die. We're afraid to die. Come help us. President Biden confirming American citizens are among the hostages, pledging to do everything possible to bring them home. Though some families want the U.S. to take a more active role in their recovery, sending messages to the lost and missed. Mom, I'm confident that you're holding on. We're waiting for you. We love you. Amid urgent calls for more aid, on Capitol Hill, House Republicans could vote as soon as today on a new speaker. We need a Congress that's working. A must before new money can be directed to Israel's fight. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. A St. Louis teenager is among several people from her area now trapped in Israel. The Parkway West student was studying abroad when the war began. Our Sydney Stallworth is live for us in Baldwin, where students and staff are hoping for her safe return. Sydney. Well, Rennie, that student's name is Katie Wallace, a senior here at Parkway High School, and she was studying abroad in Israel when the Israel Hamas war began. Now, the principal here says that uh, they've been in contact with Katie. She should be headed to safety this morning, but we did speak with Katie. She says she'll never forget the moments running for her life. <laughs> This is that moment captured on camera. Bomb sirens blaring as Katie ran for shelter while the Hamas militant group attacked Israel on Saturday. She would run to the bomb shelter seven more times that day. This morning, we're told Katie and her classmates were supposed to board a plane last night to Europe. Earlier yesterday, Katie said that she witnessed how the attacks directly affect the staff and students as the, at the Israeli school where she's studying. All my teachers have lost really close friends um, and they don't know the whereabouts of other friends and family here constantly um, like the Iron Dome intercepting uh, missiles. We see the warnings all throughout Israel on like an app we have. We literally feel the ground shaking. 
Meanwhile, a Godfrey, Illinois couple is also stuck in Israel. Danny and Carmen Rowe left for Israel on Friday with several church groups. Their daughter, Jenny Rowe Beck, spoke with Five on Your Side and tells us her parents are stuck in Tel Aviv. Two of their flights have already been canceled. Beck says she just wants her parents home safely. Every time they call the embassy, they're just giving a, given a list of you know, things to watch out for and things to be careful for. I want direction. I want them to be told, here's what we are doing for you. And I believe God knows where they are. Um, and I, I have faith that God's going to bring them home. I would just like him to do it very quickly. <laughs> Now, Beck says she's been in contact with U.S. Congressman Mike Boss and adds that he's been helpful. Boss office tells five on your side they've been in contact with people who live in southern Illinois who are now in Israel. Reporting live in Baldwin, I'm Sydney Stallworth, five on your side. Thanks so much, Sydney. You can read the latest on the Israel Hamas war on KSDK.com. For a link to our stories, you can just text the word Israel to 314-425-5355. All right, well, as you've probably noticed by now, you've seen Alex out and Sydney out. Some of us are dealing with rain, others are dry, but here's the radar, and you can see uh, your town for yourself as you head out the door this morning with the kids going off to school, where you do have the heaviest rain. That's in St. Clair, right over 44, and then you just have light to moderate pockets of showers into St. Charles County, stretching up into Lincoln County, uh, O'Fallon, Missouri, some rain there. Now in downtown, we've got rain as well. That's just moved in here within the last half hour. This, again, is just a quick hit of rain. It moves on, but if you're headed out the door, you're getting in the car, you're driving and you hit this rain, boom, you know how it goes. Everybody slams on their brakes, so do be careful. Downtown rain coming over those bridges. Uh, that's what we're looking at for right now. The showers will clear away by 8 or 9 o'clock, and then the rest of the day is dry. We're up near 80 for your high today. Claims of unsafe conditions inside the St. Louis County Juvenile Detention Center. This morning, the allegations that has a council member now asking the Missouri Attorney General to investigate. A discussion descends into some chaos. What caused this disruption at last night's St. Louis Public School Board meeting? Wildlife, not pets. This morning, where this deer was found, and what to do if you see an animal that needs help. Very interesting there. All right, we're taking a live look now towards downtown. Uh, usually we can see the Gateway Arch. You can see it, the visibility is a little bit hard there because Anthony's been talking about showers moving through the area. We're going to have the latest news and weather coming up and traffic after the break.